Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom taxonomy for our jobs uh, board plugin. So um, if you um, started watching just now, make sure to view the previous video where we actually created this plugin. Uh, so the plugin uh, so far has only uh, two menu items, so all jobs and add new jobs. Uh, I have created a couple of jobs. Uh, here and you can see them in here in the old jobs page. What I'm going to do also now is to add the jobs archive page to the menu. So if we open the customizer for our uh, WordPress installation uh, and we go on the menu uh, and primary and in here we can add the new items and if you uh, look carefully you can see there is a jobs element that we can open and select the jobs archive and even we can rename that so we can for instance call it career or jobs i'm going to call it just jobs and when we publish uh, the changes and we close the customizer we will see that the menu uh, on the second um, primary menu so this team has two different menus and one is collapsed so the one that is collapsed has this jobs um, archive item and you can add it anywhere you want in here or in this main menu I don't know if this team has a folder menu but in case you can add uh, a menu on the folder as well so if we now click on the jobs uh, sure enough we see the jobs archive with the elements that I added. So what I want to do now is create for this uh, plugin, if you go back to the admin dashboard, uh, so like posts have categories and tags, my jobs uh, board plugin is going to have uh, jobs categories and jobs skills. So let's get started and scaffold a taxonomy. So I'm saying scaffold because that's well, that's the command that we are going to use. So same command that we use to scaffold the plugin and to scaffold the custom post type. And now we are going to use it to scaffold the taxonomy. Let's check this synopsis first. So we need to grab for this. I'm going to copy that in here for a second and let's quit pressing pressing q and now what we need to do is just um, modify the synopsis uh, to fit our purposes so this log of the taxonomy is going to be job uh, category categories and then we have the post types so this this taxonomy is attached to a post type and the post type is going to be the job post type that we created in the previous video. Then we have the label and it's going to be job category, jobs categories and it needs to be surrounded by a quote. And then what, what else? We need the text domain that in this case is the same of our plugin so text domain is this one and then we need we can um, delete the team because this uh, taxonomy is going to be attached to a plugin so the plugin that we created and it's going to be uh, jobs board And then we don't need the row and we don't need the force flags. So that should be it. Let's put all in one line. Let's grab that. And let's copy the command inside the terminal. And now the uh, command runs successfully and if you look on the um, for the structure you see that we have another uh, folder uh, which is the taxonomist folder and inside it we have a job 
slash categories.php file where we can see that we have our registered taxonomy function. And this function accepts three parameters. So the first is the name, the slug. Then we have the, um, the post types. In this case, the arrays has just one element because we only want to attach this uh, taxonomy to the job post type. And then we have an array of uh, key and value elements. So with all the different things that we can set for the taxonomy. So let's now um, reference this file inside our um, main entry file, so the jobs-board.php file, and then we need to require the taxonomies slash job category. And then don't forget to add the same column at the end, and that's it. So if we save it now, and we open one of the posts, uh, we should see a new element on the sidebar where we can define jobs categories. So if I say in software, What the hell? What the hell is going on? So if I say, let's say in general. Okay, if you look carefully, this is going to look like in the same way the posts tags look like so we need to separate categories via with a comma but that's not what we want we want them to be hierarchical and to do that we need to modify the job categories uh, file so the taxonomy file and there is the first element actually of the array is this is hierarchical and by default is set to false but we need to set to true so when we set it to true and we refresh the page, we see that uh, the um, categories now looks like differently and as a hierarchical order. And you see, I, I already have a few categories uh, into the system, but you can add categories like that. So uh, anything you want, like HR, if you want, and you can select a parent category uh, and then say something else. So another category, which is child category of one of uh, the categories that you choose. So now, um, if we, uh, what else do we need? If you look carefully here, we don't see any of the jobs categories and there is another element in the array that we can change and that's this show admin column and we need to set that to true and when we refresh the page we will see the jobs category appearing over here so job categories and now we can see if this job has any category attached to it the last thing that i want to do is to create another taxonomy and just um, change the previous command that we run for the skills now. So job skills and also the slug. So the only thing that I changed for the skills is the slug and it's going to be job slug, uh, job skills and then the job uh, the post type attached uh, is the same, so it's the job post type uh, that we want to attach this new taxonomy and then the label is going to be different because it's going to be job skills and all the other parameters are the same. So we press enter and sure enough the command run correctly and we have a new uh, file in here. Um, for this file we are going to enable the columns in the admin panel and we set to true. 
but I'm not going to uh, set uh, these skills as hierarchical because I want them to look like the tags for the posts. So I want to separate each ta each skills with a comma and be able to add more skills uh, on the fly. And um, so what else we need? We need to reference this uh, file, so the job skills.php file inside the main entry point. And let's change that. Let's refresh the page. And you see we have the job skills in the admin panel. Um, in from one of, it becomes one of the columns. And then we have a new element in here where we can add the skills and what's the backend. So PHP, MySQL, um, Python. So you got the idea of how this works. So when you update, you got so you got this backend uh, developer um, job, and you can select the skills, and you can add it to a category. If you look uh, on the left side of the admin panel, you see that there is a job categories menu item where you can see all the um, jobs categories. And I made the typo here, but uh, we can fix it. So where is? Yeah, we made the typo, which is reflected all over the labels. You see, so we can change all the occurrences using the IDE categories. Now we save the file and then we should be good to go and OK. And that's OK. So you can add the new category also from here. I add the description, uh, the slug, and select the part category. Um, and then the skills is looks the same. So you can add the skills like that. And you see also how many posts, so in this case, how many jobs have this category. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. In one of the next video, what, I, what we are going to do, let's view one of these posts. So what we are going to do in one of the next video is to add to the template file uh, the categories and the skills taxonomies so that we know when we, looked, uh, when we look at this job what um, category it is and uh, what are the skills required and also from here when we look at the jobs archive we should be able to see in here um, from which category uh, to which category this post this job post belongs and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one cheers